guys welcome back to my channel i just got back from walmart and i'm super happy because i found a bunch of stuff that i really wanted for my kids and for my nieces and nephews and some items i wanted to donate um i was surprised at how much stuff was left over because it's been three days since the clearance event has started and i really thought everything was going to be sold out so in this video today you guys are going to see items up to 80 percent off everything that was 90 percent off had already sold out in my area but that's okay because I found items that I know my kids will love and I know my nieces and nephews will love and things So I'm once I got to Walmart, I, I headed straight really to enjoy. the actual clearance section. This is typically located all the way in the back of the stores. Uh, mine was located near the garden section. I found these Hatchimal Squishies marked for $1.50 to $2 a piece. So I grabbed my son's phone and opened the Walmart app and on top right side of the app, there's a barcode. You wanna click on that to scan the actual item. It's gonna bring up the online price, but you wanna click on the nearest store and it's gonna actually show the price it's going to ring up in store. As you can see, these are actually gonna ring up 50 cents a piece. Um, so I grabbed quite a few of them. I also found these troll toys. They're marked for $2 and they're originally $8. And I scanned it just in case to see if it was actually gonna be cheaper or not. And they are actually going to ring up $2, which is still a great price. My favorite thing was to find are these slimes. I've been seeing these quite a few times since I've walked into the store. So I went ahead and scanned this, hoping it's actually gonna be cheaper than $4. So once I scan that, uh, they are originally $8 and they are actually gonna ring up $1.50. So I grabbed quite a few of those. These other squishies, the Slurp and Burps, um, were marked for $5. I went ahead and scanned it in the app to see if it's going to be any cheaper and it says it's going to be five dollars online and in store it's going to be only two dollars and fifty cents if you have any harry potter fans these little squishies are only dollar fifty originally seven dollars and just for those who are curious yes i have my kids covered and safe the baby's in the bubble and my son has a mask on these little snuggles for frozen themed were ringing up three dollars in store they were marked only seven dollars um, there was a lot of stuff around the store that were actually ringing up correctly. This fortune blind box was only $7. Originally, I believe 15. They had tons of stuff included into this clearance. Bird feeders, lots of cups, a bunch of 4th of July items were included in this clearance event. Um, this caddy for outdoor by Better Home and Gardens. Um, these Peva tablecloths were only $2.00. And they had quite a few prints to choose from. These are a lot thicker than your normal tablecloth. I was super happy to see they had some Ryan toys marked down on sale. Online is $16, so I actually went ahead and price matched this since it was cheaper online. And as long as it's showing in stock, you can price match. There was little stuffed animals for as low as $3. Super cute. There's little doggies and unicorns included. I was super excited to see a bunch of leapfrog items were marked down as well, as long as they're learning toys and a bunch of others by their brand. There was tons of more clearance. This is actually in the regular toy aisle. So I was surprised to see so much actually marked down. These were all mostly bringing up exactly as they were marked. Uh, PJ Masks toys as low as $5. These shark patrols were only $3.50, crazy bargain. I was super excited about these, only $2.88 for puppy dog pals toys. If you have any baby shark fans, make sure you check out the baby shark toys because a ton of them were also marked down. Um, there was this huge play tent marked down at $17. I scanned it just in case, but it really was ringing up $17. Uh, originally $30. There was a baby shark tent as well, as low as $11. So this is perfect if you have a kid that loves this and you want to get ready for the holidays. There was tons of troll toys marked down as low as a dollar. I was super excited so I grabbed quite a few of those. If you have any Polly Pocket fans, make sure to check out that section because everything from that brand was marked down as low as $4. I got excited over these What's My Purse surprise. They were marked down for only a dollar, originally $4. I was super happy because it seemed like someone had left quite a few. These were only $2 for these pick me pops They're usually stuffed with these little stuffed animals. It's like uh, a form of egg surprise. These squishies were only $2.50. The Poopsie Claw Machine was also on clearance. It was $30. 
Originally, I think about $45.50. I scanned it just in case. And it was showing $35 online and $30 in store. These headphones I found in the regular toy aisle, not marked down, but I scanned it just in case. And it showed that it's going to be ringing up $4.97. Or it was supposed to be $10. There were some blankets marked down to $10. I scanned them. These were only $5 in store. Now, I know there's some of them that are only a dollar, but my store ran out of them. I headed to the electronics aisle. These looked pretty old, so I went ahead and scanned them anyway. And come to my surprise, they only rang up $5 when I scanned it on the app. And it's super great for teens or anyone else that would enjoy it. Um, The My Circle Disney's were 50% off. There was phone cases and so much more as low as $1.75. And I just wanted to show you that you can scan the regular barcode on the scanners in store and you'll see the prices will still be the same as the app. $3 for this. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, I know my editing skills are not the greatest. Neither are my voiceovers. I am practicing, I promise. Um, I hope you guys understood exactly how scanning the Walmart app benefits. If you don't have a phone or anything to be able and scan, you can use the in-store scanners. It's just a lot more convenient to use the app because you don't have to keep walking over back and forth. And sometimes doing that, you'll miss out on clearance because someone else is gonna go ahead and grab whatever's on the shelf because people do do this for a living. I do also wanna add that this is a huge, uh, your mileage may vary. Um, you won't find the exact same items or exact same prices in all the stores. Some prices may be cheaper than others. Um, some you won't find any in other stores. You'll find a bunch of them. So if you are really into clearance hunting and wanting to find cheap items and you have the spare time, then it's so worth it to go to more than one store. I only went to one store just to show you guys that there really are tons of items that you can purchase and you don't have to pay full price for it. So thank you again, I hope you enjoy this and fingers crossed for the next one.